voice. Everything has an electric microphone. When I really think about the reach and magnitude of my father's work, to know that an African-American man is responsible for the devices in everyone's pocket, yet no one really knows that story. My name is James E. West. I retired from Bell Labs as a Bell Labs fellow. Now I'm a full professor at Johns Hopkins University. I have roughly 70 U.S. patents and 250 foreign patents. My name is Ellington West, CEO and co-founder of Sanavi Labs. We are a medical device and software company that's really harnessing the power of artificial intelligence. When I think about the lack of representation in my space, it's something that I am determined to change, just as my father did at Bell Labs. The real reason that I settled on Bell Labs was the fact that there were other people who looked like me that I wanted to be like when I grew up. Link Hawkins, who turned out to be my mentor, was the first black member of the technical staff at Bell Labs two years before Jackie Robinson broke into major baseball. One of the most difficult things about my father's success has been the lack of acknowledgement on a global scale. And I think that it's an unfortunate reality that so many black and brown inventors and innovators face, because who are we working to emulate? 90% of all microphones used today are based on patents he developed at Bell Laboratories. What I saw was not only a black scientist making a major influential technical achievement, he leveraged his success for the next generation of scientists. I was a founder of the Association of Black Laboratory Employees, and through ABLE, we generated the program, which graduated more than 500 PhDs from underrepresented minorities and women. We worked for each other. We helped each other advance in the system. This group made substantial contributions to telephony and communications. Bill Massey coined the phrase the Black Renaissance. It is a very accurate description of what was going on at that time. I believe as the next generation, we really need to face this as our own renaissance. We really need to think about the potential of this moment. The goal here at Sanavi was to really continue that Bell Labs experience. When I applied to Johns Hopkins University, Dr. West saw that my advisor was his former mentee and he reached out to me. And then when I looked him up, I was like, what? This is the guy that just called me? It feels awesome to be a part of the legacy that Dr. West is really trying to spearhead with diversifying STEM. I and mean, that's really one of the reasons why I wanted to pursue a PhD. I mentor as many people as I possibly can. The cycle continues because this is what creates the Renaissance. The reason why I'm even able to fill this role for my company is because he had already shown me that anything is possible.